Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Rest Talk Straight from Japan and today we're going to do a video review of Mazinger Z Super Robot Chogokin by Bandai. This is a neat little toy. I'm actually glad that I actually bought this thing, even though it's a little short, it's only 5 inches or so. But, hey, take a look at it. It has die cast, it's kind of neat in that sense, so let's look at the box real quick. It does come with this little sleeve on the, kind of neatly wrapped around there. These little slits over here, and there's a close-up of Mazinger Z, and he does have a little spaceship on the top. Well, I'll show you. I like the top here, the black and white silhouette, Mazinger Z. And I'll show you the back over here, kneeling pose. So he's pretty poseable. He has like a big god hand that I'll show you later. Rocket punch action. And it can definitely dislocate. I don't have these little wings. Uh, I don't know if the package came with that, but it's kind of neat. And I'll show you the bottom of the package there. Same thing as the top. So, side of the package. All right, let's go ahead and look at the uh, at the figure. And it does come with this styrofoam stand, which, yeah, it's all this is. So I'll just show you real quick. <laughs> just a piece of styrofoam. Oh well. Let's look at the figure. And this is a nice hefty figure. And as you can see, it's nice shiny red and everything. And like I mentioned before, has a good, good extras here. A uh, nice sword that I really like. And as you can see, eh, it's silver. But let me show you the little piece that uh, the cock, or sorry, the spaceship, if it focuses in right there. Little tiny spaceship that goes on the top of his head like that. Kind of neat. Why they didn't just sculpt it in there, I don't know. But it's a neat little attraction, so it's not too bad. All right, as far as articulation, and we got shoulder joint that actually moves in and out right there. So you got shoulder joint over here and it can shrug has a bice nope no bicep swivel ball jointed elbow ratcheted actually so kind of double jointed fist of course moves in and out fists are interchangeable waist is rotatable has ball jointed hips upper thigh rotation knee joint and of course ankle joint so it's pretty good on the what do you call that articulation so let's go ahead and stand them up so you can see them all right let's go down right there and hey, not bad looking oh um, one of the things I wanted to show you is also comes with this little enemy fest whatever that is a little sheet of paper and it comes with instructions and whatnot so there's nothing major also comes with a few little extras over here so let me move him out of the side and since he is pretty sturdy Come with open fists and these big Dr. Claw hands and I'll show you and right over here You can actually go ahead and attach these big Dr. Claw hands and this little bit over here attaches to the back For some odd reason. I don't know, but here's the big hands. Uh, you got two open grip hands and of course Close grip hands Open open hands and the uh, sword hands right there and I don't want to drop them so just to show you there you go that's the, that's the sword hand that's one of the hands that you already see over there and to have the super fist over here they got this big Dr. Claw hand over here remember that from Go Go Gadget I forget that there we go just snaps in it looks like Dr. Claw's hand and basically what you do over here just like in the front of the package these things pretty much snap off you can go ahead and just mount it right over there. So yeah, look at that. Let me see. Yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice. Nice looking figure, no doubt. Let's go ahead and give you a size comparison. So yeah, whoops, oh no. Well, there goes my little spaceship and since I'm on the balcony, I'm not gonna go grab it. Let's, here he is with Megatron, so about five inches tall and I do have my favorite stripper of all time Cosmos beautiful looking figure not bad if you can get them for less than 50 bucks I'd highly recommend this I'm gonna give this boy an eight and a half out of ten all right youtubers that's all I got and I'll catch y'all next time